Also in politics, Jubilee wrangles escalated Thursday after embattled Jeremiah Kioni maintained he was the bona fide Secretary General of the Jubilee Party. Kioni insists that the political party's disputes tribunal nullified the letter by the Registrar of Political Parties, saying the party was intact and fully functional. This comes hours after another wing led by Yala Member of Parliament Kanini Kega insisted that Kioni and Vice Chair David Murade were no longer in charge of the party. KTN's political affairs reporter Daniel Karioki has more on the latest wrangles. The wrangles that have previously rocked various parties in the country after elections seemed not to go away. The wrangles have now remained at the doorstep of the once ruling party, the Jubilee Party. And you can actually see how quickly she wrote because she did not even address me as the SG. Jeremiah Kioni, Thursday, addressing crowds in Muranga County on behalf of Jubilee Party, an ally of Azimio Coalition, hours after another wing linked to the ruling coalition Kenya Kwanza. Kega and his friends maintain that Kioni is no longer the party boss, but Kioni, after Muranga rally, addressed a news conference telling off Kanini Kega wing. If you want to know who are the official members, who are the officials of Jubilee Party, as per the 26th of February 2022, NDC, you can go to the Registrar of Political Parties. And again, you will find that the same names that were there from 26th of February 2022 are the names that are there. So those on that side who have tried to hijack this party, believe me, your CVs are not good with the people, even from where you come from. Further saying the party is intact and fully functional. If you have an issue with any of us, there is a procedure you should follow. If you think you want to remove the SG, get the party leader to convene a neck. Then a decision will be made that will then be taken to the NDC. We have uh, been very patient. We have followed the decorum. But sometimes enough is enough. A back and forth has been witnessed in the party after sections of leaders held a meeting with President William Ruto in what Kioni claims is a ploy to collapse the party. The leaders, led by Yala MP Kanini Kega, held a meeting hosting Kioni and Vice Chair David Murade in what could open a can of worms. Kioni has insisted that the party operations will go on as planned with the leadership structure in place. We are now past the 2022 election. We are now focusing on 2027. If there are people who are looking backwards, that's their problem. Honorable Kanini Kega will be the acting secretary general. But you cannot call the deputy of a secretary general to convene a neck and to discuss the secretary general, an official presser of the party. It is held in the party offices, which are these ones at the party headquarters. Not in a hotel or a hideout, because like the one of yesterday was actually a hideout. Let them go back to the people. Let's allow NDC to prevail. Wale wata chama inataka ndi wataingia. Wale chama wana inchi wanataka. Now focus is on former President Uru Kenyatta, who is the party leader. Will he call his house to order? Daniel Karioki, KTN News. And in other news, relatives of the Shakahola cult victims have